Oh, stinks. Right here on DSP Gaming. How's everyone doing? I hope you all had a great day off yesterday. Um, I should say, not really day off, but day away from my streams where I phased through the bridge and failed in my first playthroughs coming up. Do here, right? So good stuff, but now we're done with 2021. It's time to move wholeheartedly into the new year with all new playthroughs, all new content, all new fun stuff coming up. <clears throat> so I guess today we'll start. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Ooh, had a goblin in my throat. Excuse me. Um, I guess today we'll start with a little segment that I like to call Phil's Day Off. And in this segment, what we do <clears throat> every single day, I need to have some time away to spend with my family, to do errands and the like. This week was no exception. Although, admittedly, this week, we uh, didn't have a lot of money, just to be honest. Um, we basically were kind of strapped for cash this week. And we were like, well, if we go out, there's not much we can really do anyway. So what we decided to do is my wife stayed home and had a relaxing day at home. Uh, I say relaxing, but we ended up cleaning the house. Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> giant explosive belches. I am drinking seltzer water this morning. So, you know, I'm, I'm carbonating myself and I'll be exploding during the pre-stream, of course. And like I said, it's not a big place, but we're not sure what made them explode with popularity. Maybe there was like, I don't know, an article about them. You know what I mean? Maybe a news outlet did, did a review of them and it was a positive review. And now everyone seems to want to go to this place. So she opens it up and, you know, puts it all over her French toast, spreads it all out. All right, cuts it, takes one bite. She looks at me like this. And you know, when you wait an extra hour to get your food and it comes super late, right? You basically want to cry. Seriously, like, what are you going to do? If you're an adult. You're not going to sit there and throw shit and scream. It makes you want to fucking cry. You're upset. So I tried to, I was like, honey, I'm going to fix this. Great. Keep playing it. And if the game is just stinky dog shit, we don't ever have to play it ever again. That's cool. So I'm actually happy about that. And the game at that point never ever lets up with how good it is. It actually gets better and better. All of a sudden you start going to different locations like a university that was overrun with the creatures. And now you're fighting zombie hordes and you're trying to find new, uh, crafting new abilities like throwing giant molotovs that'll blow up and kill a bunch of them at once or using these special, special abilities and things that you unlock um, to make the game much better. And by the end of the day, when I finally beat Days Gone, I actually really liked the game, and I tried to, to relay that to my audience that for Project 7, then the game, then the series ever brought in with ad revenue. Keep in mind back then, there was no crowdfunding, there was no, do, you know, no, no tips, no cheers, no donations, nothing of anything like that. It was just sole ad revenue on videos based on views. And basically just figure out, gee, this is some of the stuff that maybe I would like to do over the course of the next month as maybe late night chill streams or maybe start up a new playthrough, because the thing is, I am going to finish GTA 3 sooner rather than later, likely with session, maybe. And I will be looking for something else to put into the main rotation.